Hello everyone, welcome to the video on answer explanation on thalidomide question. This question is given in central drug inspector examination. Look at the question first. Which of the following statements regarding thalidomide is not correct? The options given are option A, it is currently used to treat multiple myeloma. Option B, apart from teratogenesis, usually it does not show any other toxicity. Option C, it is used for erythema nodosum leprosum. Option D, Lenalidomide is an immunomodulatory derivative of thalidomide. Now see, thalidomide is very popular. It, it, it was used in 1950s for two major reasons. One, it is used to treat sleep disorders, especially in pregnant women. Again, it is used to treat morning sickness. Morning sickness is a condition in which pregnant women in the morning time, they used to get nausea and vomiting feeling. That is called as morning sickness. So in 1950s, there were many, many pregnant women who have used this drug. But unfortunately, it has caused teratogenicity. It has caused fetal uh, limb abnormalities. Because of this, it is banned in 1961. But after that, off late, there is a lot of research on thalidomide and which has shown that it can be used to treat many diseases. Let us see the options one by one. Now again, uh, for your knowledge, see thalidomide is given as a racemic mixture, R isomer and S isomer. R isomer has got anti uh, R isomer has got sedative properties, whereas S isomer was causing teratogenic properties. But unfortunately, even if someone takes R isomer in the biological system, it is getting converted into S isomer. So that was the major problem with thalidomide. Now let us analyze each and every option. Option A. Currently, it is used to treat multiple myeloma. Now understand this: multiple myeloma is a kind of blood cell cancer. In the bone marrow, we uh, red blood cells, platelets and white blood cells are formed. One of the type of white blood cell is a plasma cell from which antibodies are generated. Now, cancer to this plasma cell is called as multiple myeloma. And because of this, the remaining cells, red blood cells, platelets amount will get decreased. It causes bone damage, liver damage and kidney damage. Now, thalidomide in 2006, it is approved by FDA to treat multiple myeloma. It inhibits that multiplication. Uh, because of that reason, it is currently used to treat multiple myeloma. Understand the word currently means nowadays it is being used. Again, it has to be used with utmost care and caution because of its teratogenic properties. So option A is correct. The question is asking about which is not correct. Option B, apart from teratogenesis, this does not show any other toxicities. No, apart from teratogenesis, thalidomide can cause heart attacks and then pulmonary hypertension. It may cause bradycardia, decrease in heart rate, which may cause syncope. Syncope means faintedness and it may also cause atrioventricular block. Along with that, it may cause liver damage also. So option B is not correct. See, the question is asking which of the following is not correct. So apart from teratogenesis, it show other toxicities also. So option B is the correct answer here. Let us see option C. It is used for erythema nodosum leprosum. See, this is a type two lepre reaction. So what happens is under the skin, there are, there, there are certain kind of nodules will form in this problem, erythema nodosum leprosum. To treat this also thalidomide is used because thalidomide modulate an inflammatory release of tumor necrosis factor. Traditionally, oral corticosteroids were used to control this inflammation so that that erythema nodosum leprosum is controlled. But continuous use of uh, steroids has got a lot of adverse effects. So nowadays, it is an alternate therapy for corticosteroids uh, use of thalidomide. So it modulates tumor necrosis factor release and that is what is causing erythema nodosum, the nodule formation. So this is also correct. Now option four. Now linalidomide is an immunomodulatory derivative of thalidomide. Look at the structure of linalidomide. It is structurally very similar to thalidomide. Now it has got similar actions of thalidomide but it has also got hematological side effects. So it is a derivative of thalidomide which is being currently investigated uh, to treat various diseases. So this is the question about thalidomide. Now understand the level of questions which are being asked in central drug inspector examination. So current updated drug knowledge is also being tested. So in this line you need to prepare. Okay. I hope this is useful. All the best.